Hello everyone. So in today's session, we are going to discuss one very important concept, and the name of this particular concept is the ranking test, right? So we all are familiar with the word ranking, and in the earlier classes of our school, we were getting the class rank. So using that particular concept, we are going to basically study the basic concept of the ranking test. So starting with the theoretical part of this particular concept, and if I talk about this particular concept, so there is one person A. whose rank is given to us from the left end and the rank from the left end is basically fifth and similarly the rank of the same person a is given from the right end and the rank from the right end is eighth right now what exactly can be the demand of the question right so they can ask you corresponding to this particular concept that what is the total number of person in this particular line right so what exactly is the concept to find out the total number of person when the rank of one person is given to us from both the ends so what exactly we can do we can use this particular formula which is the rank from the left plus rank from the right then we are supposed to subtract one so using this particular formula we can find out the total number of persons so rank from the left is fifth rank from the right is eighth and then we are supposed to subtract one so we will get the total number of person in this particular line and it will come out as 12 right so now the doubt will be like this that why we have subtracted one from this particular formula and in this particular formula so what exactly is that because when we were adding this fifth and this eighth so we have added this person a twice right but there is only one person a available in this particular line so definitely we are supposed to subtract one so this is the formula to find out the total number of person when the rank of one person is given from the both the end that is from the left end or the right end and sometimes it can be top or bottom right so using this particular the formula we can find out the total number of persons right now we are going to basically understand one more very important concept related to this particular concept so this time again we are having one person a whose rank is given from the left end and this time the rank is fourth and corresponding to this the rank from the right end we are supposed to find out right so definitely we need one more data to find out the rank of this particular person from the right end so in this case total number of persons will be given to us and we are supposed to find out the rank of this person a from the right end right so what exactly is the formula which we have studied in the previous concept so it was total is equal to l plus r minus 1 so now you can substitute the values uh, which are given in this particular concept so total number of person is given as 10 rank from the left which is given as 4 we are supposed to find out the rank from the right then minus 1 right so using this particular formula we can find out the rank of this particular person from the right end and it will come out as 10 plus 1 minus 4 which is equal to 7 and this will be the rank of this particular person from the right end when the rank from the left end is given fourth and the total number of person in this particular line is basically 10 right so using these particular concept we can solve the question which are related to the ranking test now we are going to discuss the example which are related to this particular category so starting with example number 1 and you are supposed to basically understand the language of the question you have to read the question carefully and after that you are supposed to answer the question right so in this particular question what is given in the question that if you are ninth in a queue starting from extreme ends right so they are talking about the extreme end so it can be top or bottom it can be left or right so it totally depends on us that uh, what exactly we want to take right and then after that the demand of the question is how many persons are there in the queue and for that we are provided with four options over here right so moving on to the solution part of this particular question so we know that the formula is total is equal to l plus r minus 1 right so Uh, it is given in the question that uh, the rank from both the ends that is the extreme end so extreme ends means left the rank is 9 right the rank is 9 then after that we are supposed to subtract one so the total number of persons in this particular queue it will be is equal to 17 and 17 is available in option number 2 so we can definitely say that by using this particular formula we are able to find out the answer for this particular question and the correct answer for this question will be option number Two, right so in this way we are supposed to basically understand the language of the question and after that we can apply this formula where wherever this particular formula is applicable right so now moving on to the next example related to this particular concept so now in this particular question if you read the language of the question so a has 18th rank in a class of 49 students right so it is given in the question that a is having 18th rank in a class of 49 students and what is his rank 
from the last this is the demand of the question and for that we are provided with four options over here so what exactly we can do over here that we have to use that particular formula so moving on to the solution part so first of all we'll be writing the formula to find out the answer for this particular question so what was the formula total but this time the rank is given from the top so we can definitely replace left with top plus bottom minus 1 right so the total number of persons is 49 the rank from the top is 18 plus we are supposed to find out the rank from the bottom so let us assume that it is b then subtraction 1 right so what exactly we are supposed to do we are supposed to find out the rank from the bottom so it will be b is equal to 49 plus 1 minus 18 right so the rank which will come out from the bottom it will be is equal to 49 plus 150 minus 18 which is equal to 32 and 32 if you observe so it is available in option number 4 so corresponding to this particular question we are able to find out that the correct answer regarding this particular question will be option number 4 right and again we have used this particular concept to find out the answer for this particular question right so now moving on to the next question so now if you basically read this particular question so it is given in the question that in a row of girls Sanjana is 18 from the right so the rank of Sanjana is given from the right hand and the rank is 18 similarly Kavita is 18 from the left so the rank of Kavita is also given to us and which is 18 from the left hand now there is one more important information given in the question that if both of them exchange their positions so what exactly is happening in this particular question Kavita and Sanjana are exchanging their position and after basically exchanging the position one more data is given in the question that Kavita becomes 25th from the left right so now the question says that how many girls are there in the row and for that we are provided with the four options over here so what exactly we can do we are supposed to draw the diagram corresponding to this this particular data and after that it becomes very easy for us to find out the answer regarding this particular question right so first of all we are supposed to basically use the information given in the question so we know that this will be the left end and this will be the right end and Sanjana is 18 from the right so the rank of Sanjana is given to us which is 18 so we can assume that uh, number of girls to the right of Sanjana it will be 17 and similarly the rank of Kavita from the left end is given so Kavita is 18 from the left end so we can assume that 17 girls will be there which will be uh, left to the Kavita right so corresponding to this after that uh, what is exactly happening Kavita and Sanjana exchanging their position Sanjana is coming to the place of Kavita and Kavita is going to the place of Sanjana right and after doing so what exactly is happening Kavita becomes 25th from the left. So, this is the very important information. Now, we can assume that uh, this is the new position of Sanjana, right? And this will be the new position of Kavita, right? So, corresponding to this, this is given that uh, after basically exchanging their position, Kavita becomes 25th from the left, right? So, definitely this is the position of uh, Kavita from the left end after exchanging the position and this was the initial position of Sanjana from the right end which was uh, already given in the question. So, we can assume that this time the position of this particular person which is Kavita right now. So, we are able to determine that uh, the position of Kavita given from the left end it is 25 and at this place earlier the position of Sanjana was 18 from the right end right. So, now what exactly we can do we can use that particular formula to find out the answer for this particular question also because at this point after exchanging the position we are able to determine the position of this particular girl which is basically Kavita right now. So, we are able to determine that the position of Kavita from the left end after exchanging it is 25th and earlier Sanjana was there and Sanjana's rank from the right end it was earlier 18 from the right. So, we can use this formula that what will be the total number of persons. So, total will be is equal to L plus R minus 1. So, the rank from the left is 25th plus the rank from the right it was 18 which was given in the question. So, subtraction 1 right. So, 25 plus 18 43, 43 minus 1 will get the answer as 42 and 42 is available in option number 3. So, we are able to find out the total number of girls in this particular row by using that particular concept. So, this was a bit different question but we have applied the same concept to find out the answer for this particular question also right. So, now moving on to the next example. Talking about this particular question. So, in this uh, the data which is given in the question that Shama ranked 12th from the top and 28th from the bottom among those children who passed the examination right. 
तो वट एग्जैक्टली वी कैन डू वी कैन फाइंड आउट दैट करस्पॉन्डिंग टू दिस पर्टिकुलर इन्फॉर्मेशन दिस इज गिवन दैट शामा रैंक ट्वेल्थ फ्रॉम द टॉप एंड ट्वेंटी एट फ्रॉम द बॉटम अमंग दो चिल्ड्रन हू पास द एग्जामिनेशन राइट सो डेफिनेटली वी कैन कैलकुलेट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पास स्टूडेंट्स by using this particular data so it is given that uh, 12 from the top and 28 from the bottom so we can find out the total number of past students will will be equal to 28 plus 12 minus 1 so 28 plus 12 is equal to 40 minus 1 is equal to 39 right so 39 is the number of students who have passed the examination right after that it is given in the question that eight children failed in the examination so total failed students it is directly given in the question so it is basically 8 right and after that there is one more information given in the question while five children did not appear in the examination right so didn't appear for this the number is 5 right so now what exactly we are supposed to do we have to find out that how many children were there in the class so we are supposed to add these numbers 39 plus 8 which is equal to 47 41 plus 5 is equal to 52 so 52 is the total number of children which were there in the class uh, so corresponding to this particular question we are able to find out the answer and the answer for this question will be option number 3 which is 52 right so what exactly we have studied in this particular concept of the ranking test that we are supposed to basically use the formula which is uh, to basically find out the total number of persons and the formula was left plus right and after that we are supposed to subtract one so using that particular formula we are able to find out the answers for the question which are related to the ranking test and in some question we are supposed to draw the diagram and corresponding to that it becomes very easy for us to find out the answers for the given question right so i hope you people have understood the concept which we have studied today and basically this particular concept is very important because in the previous years many questions have been asked from this particular concept which is the ranking test